I'm, I'm a firm believer in uh, being passionate about things and finding your passion and then doing it. So uh, for me, I, I found my, my passion quite late on in life, but that's something that I've taken with me throughout and that's helped me get stronger and given me a focus. Um, and to see a lot of young people that don't have the same opportunities that I might have had as a young person. As a community deal worker, it's our job to um, know everything about, about what's going on within the community, all the activities that are going on for young people, and then trying to signpost those young people into that. But then it's also about working out what gaps there might be within the community. That's one thing that I've, I've addressed recently by um, a new cookery project that started last week and then we had our sec second session yesterday which was very successful it's trying to engage them in a an activity that will that they will be able to use and sustain for uh, use to sustain them for the rest of their lives seeing a young person smile at an activity that they thought they wouldn't like and seeing when they once they engage in it and how their sort of minds change by the end of the session and they're asking you what they're doing next session. And the young people that I work with, they, they don't necessarily have the confidence to go out and do it themselves. In a lot of situations, they don't need a lot of support. They just need that person to be there with them and to do it with them. Like I'm a big believer, I'm, I'm not one to sit on the sidelines and watch them do the activity. I'm a big kid myself, so I like to go get get hands on, you know, we'll do it together. And, and you know, they, they seem to like that as well. So sometimes that's all, all they need is a little bit of nudge. So I've been like, been going to like to school, I'm getting on with like more stuff, like students at school and stuff, and I've been working because you want to be like a student at school, because once when I went rock climbing, I only went half worse and I got scared but because I went on the high high ropes Dan gave me encouragement to do the zip line and basically after that I just got over my fear of heights thanks to Dan.